Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glory Talk. Today is December 11, 2023. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I got some, uh, I got something for you uh, that God was talking to me about, so I'm going to get that out to you. Um, but first, let's go into prayer first and then get that out to you. Amen. We're going to have some fun. Amen. All right. Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God the Father. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Lord, we, we come to you and we just ask that you are present in the conversation, that we want to talk about you, that we want to get what you want to talk about out to everyone. Lord, I ask to do this very um, effectively, efficiently done for you. Um, and to make sure that everybody can hear what you want to say to them. And they'll have an open mind and heart and soul to hear it. And just to put it in their lives and activate it in their lives and to bring it forth in their lives to become what you want them to be for your kingdom and your power and your glory in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Good prayer. Okay. So let's get, let's get going on this word. Um, I got this word. It was in November and it was November 25, 2023. So it's just been maybe a week or two. It hasn't been too long. And, um, it was a really neat day. Um, that day was just, we had a lot of snow where I'm from, and it was just snowing. And we ended up getting about, I, I believe it was about 10 inches of snow. And so I was just kind of focusing on God, you know, just just seeing what he was doing, you know, and just praying and just kind of relaxing in that day. And all of a sudden, I got this word, and I was just chatting with him, you know, too, a little bit. And he just gave me all these things to write down and it was really beautiful. It was, it was pretty good. Um, it was about a cleansing thing that was going on in the world. And I thought that was really interesting how the snow was cleansing everything. And I go, that's really cool. And, um, he talks about our faith. He talks about, um, that we've already won this war and how we are to use our faith in the spirit and to pray in the spirit and and that's where we win victory in the spirit amen so um let's get to this let's get to this and remember you know i i hear things from god father god and they're like uh downloads into my head and then i just keep writing them down and sometimes i'm just just flowing in the day you know just 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 serving god and what i'm doing and all of a sudden i'll start to to hear some scriptures or I'll start to hear um, just God saying a few things here and there and, and then he wants to talk, you know, so I'll write it down. And sometimes it just comes to me out of nowhere because I'm, I'm already just like going through the day or just spending time with him and he just wants to talk and then I'll start writing down what he wants. And so, um, yeah, that's how I hear that. Um, and remember you guys, uh, we always hear from the Holy Spirit, too. So remember, the Holy Spirit is talking to us all the time in a still, small voice. And uh, learn how to hear the Holy Spirit. Learn how to hear how God talks to you in every way. Learn it. Put the work into it. That's what God keeps telling me, you know, and he, he keeps reminding me to say things like that. Put the work into getting to know who God is. And that is how, through prayer, petition, through his word, get to know him. Find out how he talks to you. Find out how he wants to uh, bless you and use the blessings in your life. Because everything in the word has blessings. And you can speak those blessings over your life. You can stand on the word and you can stand on those blessings and you can stand on the things he says that's in the word and you can put him into your life. Praise God. So yeah, I'm encouraging you guys to do that. Take the time. Take the time to do it. Amen. 
All right, so I'm being led by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to do this. Uh, yeah, let's get this done. Amen. Okay, so this was, um, let's see, it was the end of November, 11, 25, 23. And, and this is what God was saying this day, and it was about the snow falling, you know, and, and this is how he compared it to it. He says, just like this, and this is something he told me, he says, just like the snow is, is, is covering the ground, a cleansing is coming. And he was saying, and already is in progress. And it's to remove the evil narrative and bring in the narrative of God, Father God. Amen. And he was saying, only look to him as he comes to the earth and begins the promises he gave to you. And so let me repeat that again. Look only to, and he says to him, and that's me. So he says, look only to me as I come to earth and begin the promises I gave to you. So that's Father God speaking. And he said, not only the removal of the evil narrative and the control of it, but to bring in his love and mercy and grace. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Whew. Thank you, Father. I'm already feeling God's presence here. So praise you, Father. Thank you. Give me a second. He said, did I tell you in my word the evil pharaohs fell down? Yes. And he said, did I bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He said, yes, I did. And so, um, thank you, Lord. Okay. He said, I'm feeling God's presence here, so give me a second. Um, he said, for my might and power is bigger than any evil narrative you might see. He said, even the Israelites questioned the removal of evil from them. And then one day they were set free. So that's what God's talking about. And I looked that up in, I was being uh, led to look that up in um, Numbers 14 and 3 and 4. <clears throat> and remember, this is where the people came out of. They were coming against um, Moses and Aaron when they were, you know, because they were freed from Egypt already. And so they were going into the promised land. And when they were coming into the promised land, they had a, a bad report from the spies that went in to check. And so the people were coming against Moses and Aaron, and the people were rebelling. And it says in Numbers 14, 3 and 4, he said, Why is the Lord bringing us to this land? And that's what's in the word of Canaan to fall by the sword. And this is the Amplified Version. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land of Canaan to fall by the sword? Our wives and children will become plunder. Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? So they said to, and it says, oh, they said one to another, let us appoint a new leader and return to Egypt. And so that's what they were talking about there. And that's what God was referring to. Thank you, Lord. And I'll repeat this again. I, I'm being led to do this. This is where it says, for my might and power is bigger than any evil narrative you might see. Amen, Lord. Even the Israelites questioned the removal of evil from them, and then one day they were set free. Amen. Amen. Do you not know that when the darkest is out? So he's talking about all the evil narrative out there, all the evil uh, elite that's out there, and all the people that are doing all the evil to bring evil into the world. And he says, do you not know that when the darkness is out and in plain view, that when I will turn it around and make it into good. So that's what God's saying. He's going to turn it around and make it into good. And he said, exposure is needed to bring it all out into the open. He wants that out in the open. So the people need to see how bad it can really get. And before they can wake up and turn back, to me, and that's Father God. So that's, let's repeat that. We'll go over this. It says exposure is needed to bring it all out in the open. That's what God's intentions are. He wants it out in the open. And he says the people need to see how bad it can get before they wake up and turn back to him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, God the Father. Thank you, Father God. And he said, he was talking to me about that. And he says, you know, he is your Father God. He will take care of what you see. It'll be out and all around you. And he's going to take care of it all. He said, my believers more than ever need to take back and take back everything. Or so I'll say this again. My believers make, my believers more than ever need to take on and take back everything I gave to them. So you have 
you have things to use in your prayers. You have things to use in your words. You know, he's telling you, use the, use the word, use what you're supposed to use to take on the evil, to take on all these things that are in the spirit. And you do have in the spirit to the natural. And here he goes forward with this. He says, the word says it is already yours. Stand up and fight with your faith and prayers. There you go. That's what God's telling us. Stand up and fight with your faith and prayers. The victory is already ours. The word says it's already ours. And he says, did you not remember we fight in the spirit? There we go. To see that it comes through to the natural. Amen. You know, that reminded me of a scripture. And so I was led to go there in Deuteronomy 2. Let's see. Deuteronomy 24. And this is about the laws of warfare. And it says, for the Lord your God is he who gives with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. So it says, again, I'll say it again, for the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Praise God. I like that. Thank you, Lord. That's one I needed to see today for myself too. Praise God. Okay, and then he went on to say, oh, my believers, where is your faith? Where is your courage? Where is my remnant? <laughs> Where are you, you know? He's saying, I have and will not stop listening and hearing what you have to decree. So let's say that again. I have and will not stop listening and hearing what you have to declare, decree, believe, and say. It's very important. He says, use your words, use your faith, and what you believe in me. I, your Father God, will see it through. So... God's saying that. He says he's going to see this through. He wants you to use your faith. He wants you to use your words. He wants you to declare, decree, and believe what you say and to stand on God's word. And look, it even says this. Let's see. Yes, I had, uh, I was referring to my, you know, because I was remembering it. I go, yeah, that's right, Lord. That was in Ephesians 6.12. It says here in Ephesians 6.12, this is the amplified version. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood contending only with physical impotence, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present and present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural places. Praise God. So I'm feeling the Holy Spirit show up here. It's very clear about he wants you to know this. I'm going to say it one more time in Ephesians 6, 12. This is the amplified version. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural places. Amplified version. That's beautiful. That is so powerful right there. That's where we fight our fight. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is what we needed. Amen. All right. So he kept going. He says, oh, my believers, where is your faith? Where is your courage? Where is, your, where is my remnant? He says, and, and I'm repeating this again, I will and have not stopped listening and hearing what you have to declare, decree, believe, and say. Use your words, use your faith, and what you believe in me. I the, your Father God will see it through. So he wants you to do this. And that's re referring to that word and referring to Ephesians 6.12. He says, you will not falter or break when it comes to what my agenda is for you. To, God wants you to keep going. You will not falter or break when it comes to what he wants for you. You will succeed when it comes to, your, to my guidance and will for all I want you to do. So remember, you're going to succeed when it comes to his guidance, and his will for all he wants you to do. Praise God. That's good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. All right. He says, um, not long now, not long now, as I finish my maneuvers and make my way, the enemy will not be able to rebound from this takedown I am going to make. So that was so cool. It rhymed there. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I'll say it again. I'm being led to say that again. Not long now, I am finishing my maneuvers and make my way. 
the enemy will not be able to rebound from this takedown I am going to make. So you see what's going to happen? They're not going to be rebound from this. They can't rebound from this. And this is about the evil powers and the evil lead that are in control right now. And he's going to take them and wipe them out. Amen. It will be glorious and full of my power for the angels and hosts have been ready for quite some time. And he kept saying that. He says the setup for this enemy's fall is inevitable. He says it's inevitable. It's going to happen. What God says happens, it's going to happen. There will be victory with my fellow believers and saints, period. He was very, very stern about that. There will be victory with my fellow believers and saints, period. Nothing will compromise what is coming. Amen. Thank you, Father. Even in my word, and even, let's, let's say that again, even my word says, what the enemy meant for evil, I will turn it into good. And that is in Ex Exodus 50, 20. I had to refer to that. And what the devil meant for evil, God turned it into good. Amen. And he said, yes, the best is yet to come in my divine kingdom. The final kingdom. I am and will be glorified among the people who are with me. And he says, yes, yes, yes. Amen. So that reminds me of uh, in Daniel that talks about the divine kingdom, and it is in Daniel 2, 44 and 45. Look that one up. Amen. And he says, he wants to encourage you guys. He wants to encourage you guys to keep going, and I need it too. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So here it is. Keep going, keep believing, keep building up yourself and each other in the faith. Amen. Reveal the true narrative of me to everyone you meet. Amen. Not false doctrine and watered down faith. He said, but the true ministry, <coughs> excuse me, Lord, <coughs> <coughs> but the true ministry of my son Jesus and everything he did, he is the only way. So remember, Jesus is the only way. He's the only way to heaven. He's the only way to have salvation. Praise God. Only look to me, know in your hearts who you serve. And he said, it is better to go against the evil than it is to go with them. Amen. He said, you are only in the world, not of it. Remember, that is scripture also. You are you are only in the world, but not of it. And that's also in John, um, let's see, John 15, 19. And then there was a mention of it in John 17, 14 through 16. Go ahead and look that up. <clears throat> I will not let you down or lead you astray. Everything will turn back to my will for all of you. So remember, God's not going to let you down. He's not going to lead you astray. He said, everything will turn back to his will for all of you. And he said, just like in his prayer, which is the Lord's prayer. And that's in Matthew 6 and, and 9 through 13. So look that up, Matthew 6, scriptures. Um, the verses are 9 through 13. Amen. He said, you will always win for the better outcome of what a... Okay, let me say that again. You will always win for the better outcome of what lies ahead of you. Amen. It is not your plan, but mine. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's say that again. <coughs> God was saying, he says, you will always win for the better outcome of what lies ahead of you. It is not your plan, but mine. So that's God saying that. And he said... So bring in a servant and serving attitude with and for me. So that's what God's saying. Make sure you're being a servant and a serving attitude with and for God. He says, your father God knows the best for you. That's what he wants you to know. He knows the best for you. I am always here, always watching, always nurturing. I am yours. Praise God. He says, my love is always present and always for you. That's beautiful. Lord, I'm going to say that again. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me clear my voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> he is saying, I am always here, always watching, always nurturing. I am yours. My love is always present and always for you. Beautiful, beautiful, Lord, beautiful. He says, love, love, love. That is what... I have for you. All you need is me, your loving Father God. And so remember, 
love, love, love. That is all you need. And that is what he has for you. He says, this is from him. And this is all you need. He says, he's the loving Father God. You know, God says that to me all the time. He says, he is the loving Father God. The loving Father God. Because that's all he is. He's full of love. He's, he's love in everything. Ugh, praise you, Father. My gosh. Oof. I'm going to wait a little bit on the Holy Spirit here and just, I'm going to keep talking. And I have some scriptures here that God was referring to that I looked up and I was going to share them with you. And um, he wanted me to remind you guys of that you are a disciple and you are sent into the world. Just like it says in John 17, 18, and this is Jesus saying this, and he said, <clears throat> just as you commissioned and sent me into the world, I have commissioned and sent them, believers, into the world. So that is, Jesus just has, and this is Jesus saying this, he says, just as God commissioned and sent Jesus into the world, Jesus has also commissioned and sent you believers into the world. Praise God. Amen. Yes, we have been commissioned to share God to everyone. We've been commissioned to talk him up. We've been commissioned to put ourselves aside and to live for him. We have been commissioned to do the Great Commission. Amen. Because he wants us to do that. He wants us to go forth. He wants us to share the gospel. He wants us to go forth and, and just build each other up and put the new word from God into all the people that you see. And that's the word from the Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. And that's the word of God. That's the what he is teaching. It's what he wants you to believe. He wants you to be grounded into the word of God. He wants to hear what he, he wants you to hear what he has to say to you. He wants you to put that into your mind and heart and soul. So it comes back out of that, of what you put in. Remember what comes in here and here goes straight into your soul. It always does every time okay so remember that remember remember you have to be careful what you put into your mind and heart and soul and you want to put in what the good stuff which is from god his word his teachings his way praise god you know you can do this you can go out and be the example for for god holy spirit and jesus christ and he even commissioned us to do this this is for you it's for you. And this is why you can do it. It says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. Amen. And this is a letter that Paul had written to the Philippians. And, he, and this is the Amplified Version. I like how he described this. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. And it's to fulfill his purpose. He says, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Praise God. You know, that's the amplified version. Look that up. That's beautiful. So remember, I'm going to say this to you. And you guys can take this and put this into your life because you speak God's word over your life and into your life. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. Praise God. You can say that over your life. You can say that over everybody's life. You can speak blessings over everybody's life. You can just minister to people like that. And you can use God's word that way to say it over their lives, you know? Because you are. You are going to do all things which he has called you to do through who? Him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. Through God the Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. Praise God. You can do all things. 
through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. And you have been called to do it. Amen. Use the word of God over your life. Use it over your life. Speak it over other people's lives and release blessings to each other and speak it over each other and keep praying for each other and keep putting it into new believers too. Because you know why? Because it'll strengthen and empower them to do what they're supposed to do. And people that don't believe, you speak that over their lives and let the Holy Spirit do the rest because the Holy Spirit will keep working on them until they actually get it, until they actually want God in their life. Amen. Because you put those seeds in their life. Amen. Praise God. So, all right, I believe that's it. If you want Jesus into your life, you just ask him in your life. If you're being called to be, okay, Lord. If you're being, um, being led to ask Jesus into your life, all you have to do is say, Lord, I want you in my life. Jesus, come into my life. I believe in you. I acknowledge what you did. You died on the cross. And say it with your words, you died on the cross. I believe in you. And I ask for forgiveness of sins. Because your word says, Lord Jesus, that we will die to sin and live for righteousness. Amen. And thank you for sacrificing for me. Say it with your words. Thank you for sacrificing for me, Jesus. I ask you into my life. And now I'm born again. I believe in you, Jesus. I want you in my life. There you go. And you're a believer in Jesus Christ. Amen. It's that easy. It's that easy. And get into the word when you get that. When you're new, get into the word. Start praying. Start seeking God. And don't deter from it. Keep going forward and winning that prize with Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Oh, Lord, you are so wonderful. Thank you, Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Mm. And may everyone go out and, oof. And once you are, yes, that's right. Once you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you receive a deposit of the anointing. It's your greatest weapon against everything. Everything against illness, sicknesses, disease, infirmity, demonics, and yokes, everything. So you can release the deposit of anointing of Jesus Christ on everyone and anything. And when they come across it and when they hear it and when they get it, you release it to them. They're going to receive what? A deposit of the anointing of Jesus Christ on them. And they will be saved. They will start to be doing what God wants them to do. And remember, you will be healed. Spread it. And believe it and act on it because the word is truth and the truth will set you free. Praise God. Oh, praise God. And remember the verse, Philippians 4.13, you can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose in Jesus Christ. Praise God, you can do all things. Say it over your life all the time. I'm gonna release that to you. You can do all things that God has called you to do through him who strengthens and empowers you. Mm, and you will fulfill his purpose. Amen. In you. In Jesus' name. So I release that to you. And just say, I receive it. I receive it. Yes. And release it to everyone. And speak God's word over everybody. And speak all the anointings over everyone. So they can receive what is due to them through God the Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. I'm being led to do, I'm being led to say this is it. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, follow, and share all the videos, words, and posts. Get me out there and get God out there and do that. Your do your part too and talk up Jesus to everyone, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ to everyone. Amen. And Father, God the Father. It's totally worth it. There's also two places you can support me paypal.me slash glory talk and patreon.com slash glory talk. That's where you can see it. I've got descriptions under each long video and um, in the about sections in the info sections. And um, I'm on Facebook and YouTube right now on Patreon. Um, yeah, and that's where I'm at. And please, you know, when you support me, it helps. It helps us do this. It helps all the people that have the, have the voices of God and the people that are being, you know, that are being God's 
mouthpiece and the people that are presenting you the teachings of God, Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, you can support them. So do support them and everybody you learn from and keep showering everybody with love and bring love into the world. Bring love into the world. And that's what God is so important right now. That's what he's been saying to me a lot lately. Bring his love into the world because that's what he wants. And we're going to win this war and win people over to him and influence the world for him, for God's kingdom in his power and his glory in Jesus' mighty name. All right. Until next time, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.